Hello, my name is Herodotus, and I'm a famous Greek historian. And I am Homer, a famous Greek storyteller. We have collaborated to make a movie on some of the more famous Greek and Roman stories. Let's start out by saying that I might not actually be one person. And also, that the fact that I may not be the most truthful of the fellows. And keep things rolling by introducing our special guest, Socrates! Socrates! Do, do you really think you captured everything there is to capture in this video? Yes, I am confident we captured everything there is to be covered. And Homer, do you think that your stories and other great stories by other great authors were given justice? Yes, I do. Well then, let's roll the clips. This is bad! I need to fix this! Okay, send me Tiresias! You call for me? I need you to tell me why everybody is dying. Well, you killed your father, and now you're sleeping with your mother! Am not! Come on, Dracosta, this guy's a loser. Um, about that! Did Sophocles end it like that? Well, in my opinion, it was much more class and friendly. Yeah. And weren't there other plot points that were supposed to be hit but were completely ignored? No, not at all. I'm completely sure that we hit all the plot points that were in the tale. In fact, I think we embellished a little bit, to be honest. Okay, fine. Let me make this a bit more personal. Homer, this is the tale of the Odyssey. I'm on a boat! If I am correct, which I always am, then I could say that your tale of traveling could not be summed up in four words. Alright, Herodotus, what happened to my Odyssey video? It was at least four hours longer. Come on, Homer. The Odyssey wasn't even covered in class. I modernized it. Mm -hmm. Look, the audience loved it. Uh -huh. It was short, simple, and to the point. You told me there would be a director's cut, DVDs, that would rival the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Please tell me you at least did the Iliad right. I worked hard on that one. Um... Y yes, sir, Artis. Let's show them how hard you worked on the Iliad. Roll the clip. Agamemnon, stop being stupid! Ah! Dude, don't you think you're being harsh? No, Aggie is being dumb! Can I go fight them? <sighs> Fine. Yes, messenger? Uh, Patroclus died. No! Hey, um. Hey, Achilles, you think we can talk about this? Hector, you die now! How was that anything like my story at all? Invocation. Rage. I captured the rage of Achilles. That's pretty much all I got out of it anyway. <laughs> when I was sent to record the complicated and boring battle from Apollo, <laughs> Instead I recorded what, of recording what actually happened, I spiced it up a little bit. And now look what happens. It's made into a movie and a graphic novel. You gotta know how to talk to these people. Does that not hinder man's ability to seek knowledge? <laughs> oh, shut up, Socrates. Check out the results of bending the truth a little sometimes. <laughs> Where special guest Gerard Butler... Gerard Butler! ...kicks a man into a bottomless pit. Roll the clip. This is Sparta! That wasn't even Gerard Butler. Besides, how do you even know that happened? I don't have to. Was there any kind of historical accuracy to that last clip? No, no there was not. <sighs> you know, I don't really like what you guys are doing here. I mean, Homer never told the truth, but I'm the one getting crap for it. Yes, but you're the source from which knowledge is sprung for the people that are learning of your time period. Come on, Sock Man. People need to lighten up sometimes. Look at Ovid. He did some pretty awesome stories. Like this one here. I am Bacchus, and I will grant you one wish. Gold! Gold! I want to have gold! comprehend what that meant. That wasn't even entertaining. Uh, okay, guys. I'm sorry. I, I was kidding. But seriously, look at Icarus over here. All right, Icarus. You can fly now. Just don't go too high. Someday, here I come! I'm pretty sure my intelligence is being drained right now. 
Anything these people will learn has been corrupted by your terrible seed. You are so filled with ignorance that you have done the one thing I never thought possible. You are taking people's intelligence away. This video is meaningless. I usually love probing people's brains, but in this case, there is literally nothing for me to say. And to, to think I was killed for corrupting the youth. Come on, Homer, we're leaving. You know what, Socrates? Go ahead, take Homer. Not like he's real anyway. <sighs> Sorry about that. Well, at least you guys are still here, right? <laughs> well, as a reward for your faithfulness, you guys get a special treat. All the way from the island of Lesbo, she's deep, she's emotional, <laughs> and a fantastic <laughs> lyricist. Sappho and the lesbians, everyone. Woo! Welcome everybody. I'm Sappho, and this is the lesbians, and we have a song for you. And it goes something like this. One, two, three, four! Skin seeing nothing, hearing only my own ears, drumming. I drip with sweat, trembling shakes my body. I turn paler than dry grass. Dry grass. At such I'd like to thank my dad for giving me training in acting and I'd like to thank my grandma, bless her soul, for, for the cookie she makes when I'm down because I didn't do so good. Thank you!